I'm so into playing different characters, even when I was on Nickelodeon. I just observe. I'm not geeky but I have my geeky, quirky moments, and then I've got some aspects of cool in me, I guess. I'm definitely light-spirited, but I just felt like my music had to have a little more depth. I'm a musician. I play instruments. I dabble in the hip-hop field. That doesn't take vocal ability necessarily. I'd love to do a film with Mariah. But it would have to be a comedy. She's the funniest woman in the world. She just cracks me up all the time. I was rapping at 8. I was actually raised around a lot of children. So, I'm very comfortable around children. I was 16 years old, driving to LA, and sleeping in my car, just trying to make it happen. I think my kids give mommy more attention than they give me. I take my spoken word stuff extremely seriously because I feel like that's true writing, true lyricism. I love Wild and Out so much, one, because it's my baby, but also I get to see others succeed and go on to lead their own careers. I just work, however people feel about it, I mean, at the end of the day, if I'm waiting for accolades, I could be waiting all my life. But I don't need that stuff to validate me. I just do what makes me happy. I am not worthy to be on a Mariah Carey record. She's a true artist, so I just step back and watch the genius occur. I am always the first to say that fame and entertainment is one of the best and easiest occupations to ever have, but one must know how to navigate through the matrix or you may find yourself in a very dark hole. I am a hopeless romantic and so is my wife. I always try to be optimistic, but not to the point where I'm getting on people's nerves. I always say that candy is the perfect studio food, it keeps your energy going. Having children obviously changes your priorities. But when you start to see life through these innocent eyes and seeing everything for the first time, you appreciate the small things. Family is always first. Don't worry about my life, worry about why you're worried about my life. Clearly. Everybody knows I can rap, I can freestyle all day. Art is supposed to spark conversation and make people think. A lot of the girls my age were impressed by silly stuff like money and fame. I wanted to be able to have intellectual and spiritual conversations with someone who was on the same page as me. A lot of people don't know the first time I was ever on national television I was a soul trained dancer.
I was raised by my grandmother. She instilled everything into me. She taught me right from wrong from day one. I remembered every day, being four or five years old, and walking to school, she would be like, raise your right hand and stay on the right side of the street and make sure you do the right thing in school.